What did the pig say when it was hot outside? It's bacon out here. <laughs> <laughs> that one was from my daughter. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. I'm getting kind of fed up and making these videos, but this constant changes that I think you guys might want to know about. And in recent news, it's targeting towards Ipativa users, and usually it's targeting sellers, but now they're actually trying to find a way to punish people who watch it. Now, obviously, there's going to be mixed opinions on this. I look forward to your comments down below, but let's take a look now, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so if I jump over to this post here, you can see Ipativa and jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick users can now be tracked and fined for illegal streaming. And like I said, don't be shy, comment your thoughts and opinions on this down below. And as I always say, if you're wondering why I'm saying Ipativa, it's because YouTube don't like it when I say the proper letters. <laughs> but as we said, usually it's people who sell these kind of services that get into bother, but now they're trying to actually find a way to punish the users. So we can see a crackdown on the world of Ipativa and illegal streaming using jailbroken devices such as Amazon Fire Sticks has begun, with powers now in play to haul people before courts to be fined. And a lot of these posts, they do like to say more and more people are using dodgy sticks. And then obviously they're saying that people access premium content for free. But this is the important part here. And now, a landmark court ruling has been passed that means you could be tracked and hauled before the courts for streaming one particular kind of content. A good thing at the moment it's only one particular kind of content, but who knows if this will get pushed out to broader streams. So then we can see the ruling has been brought in by a judge in Barcelona. And what this means is that anyone illegally streaming the top Spanish football league, La Liga, can be fined. Now obviously most people watching these videos probably won't watch La Liga, but we're going to show you the method that they're looking at using that could affect you in the future. So broadband suppliers will have to supply La Liga with the details of all users who connect to servers that are streaming premium sports for free. And that it cannot be considered that the registered illegal activity associated with the identified IPs has been carried out by consumers in good faith. So basically what this is saying is, obviously you connect to the internet. So your internet service provider, be it whoever, they can see what servers you are connecting to. And obviously these servers that La Liga have flagged, if they see people connecting to these servers, they, the internet service provider then has to pass on those details to them. Now, as of yet, we've not seen any fines or anything like that, but this court order has only just become a thing. And then this is also an interesting part here. It is unclear if this will apply to those who use VPNs, which hides a user's real IP address by making it look like they're connecting to an internet service from, from another location. Now, this is one of the benefits from using a VPN that your internet service provider is going to see that you're connecting to a VPN server. So it's not going to see you actually connecting to these flagged servers that they are looking out for. Now, if you haven't already got a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below to two of the VPNs I've always used and to the best deals. But this is just one of those videos keeping you updated. We don't want to be tracked and using a VPN is the best way to mask this, but it is also something to look out for. At the moment, it's only saying it's La Liga that this court order has been ruled on, but I will let you know in the future if anything's added to that as well. And like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!